Uh, here to comment on the news of the day, we're going to bring in Corey Lewandowski, former Trump campaign manager and spokesperson and senior advisor for America First Action. Corey, happy Thanksgiving. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Uh, I opened up my uh, failing New York Times, of course, top right column. If you turn it to the what the president calls the fake news network, CNN, right now, they're wall to wall on the fact that Michael Flynn has potentially cut off interaction with Trump, with, with the president's lawyers, which could be a signal that he's cooperating with prosecutors or negotiating a deal. Is the end nigh, Corey? Are, are, is, it, is the whole Russian collusion thing about to come crumbling down on Michael Flynn? and this White House? Well, you know, as you guys know, this is a narrative that the mainstream media has wanted to perpetuate for the last year. And what the bottom line is, is if Michael Flynn did something wrong by not disclosing the relationships he had with Turkey and other governments, then he should be held accountable for that. Now, I don't think this goes anywhere other than to Michael Flynn and potentially his son. But what we've seen is the people who haven't followed the rules, people like Paul Manafort, you know, uh, Rick Gates, Mike Flynn, if they have done something wrong, they should be held accountable. But that's where it ends, because there is no culpability or liability to the president because he didn't collude, cooperate, or coordinate with Russia in any way, shape, or form. Corey, let me push you just a little bit, though. This story won't go away. This news is significant insofar as it certainly suggests that a deal has been cut. It's going to be talked about, certainly, by those in the media that are not fans of the president. Does this create a new problem as the president tries to pull tax reform and other initiatives across the finish line before the end of the year? Well, look, tax reform is the administration's priority right now, but let's be clear about this. The media wants to talk about what Mike Flynn did wrong, and if Mike Flynn did do something wrong, he should be held accountable. Now, look, Mike's not a bad guy. He served his country with distinction for a long time. Mm -hmm. But if he didn't fill out the paperwork properly, and he didn't disclose that information, and he wasn't honest with the FBI like anybody else, he should be held accountable. But that's where it stops. And there has never been any, indi any indication that the President of the United States or anyone else within that circle of the President of the United States has done anything wrong. And so if Mike Flynn did something wrong, he should be held accountable. All right, Corey, uh, shifting gears here, it is not just the day after Thanksgiving. It is Black Friday. There are a lot of people out there spending money. I'm sure we'll get the numbers on how the economy looks and how spending went today uh, soon enough. Uh, but the big question, are you better off this year than you were last year? <gasps> Senator Bernie Sanders uh, does not think so. He had this Thanksgiving message. Take a listen. I don't have to tell anybody uh, that from a political point of view, this has been a horrendous year. It appears that almost every day there is something coming out of the White House that is embarrassing, that is destructive, that is horrific. And Corey, is it your sense that uh, the center is not feeling the burn anymore? <laughs> Well, look, the only people who are not better off today than they were a year ago is probably Bernie's wife, who's under investigation for this whole college fiasco up there in Vermont. We know that. But other than that, look, the American people, what we know is your 401K is higher today. Six trillion dollars in stock market value. The Dow Jones and the S&P 500 have hit records time and time again. Unemployment in this country is the lowest it's literally been in a lifetime. In 13 states, it's the lowest it's been since, you know, the 1970s. So when you look at the metrics of what this president has done, he's putting people back to work. He's bringing manufacturing back. You look at any measure that is actually achievable, and this president is better. The people of the country are better off today than they were a year ago because of this administration. Well, one issue this White House has taken on. Um, from the beginning, a very important and critical topic. Well, I, I don't mean to make light of it. We're making light of it this morning, but the president has emphasized we're going to call, not it's not the holidays, it's Merry Christmas, right? We're going to say Merry Christmas. We're not going to bow to political correctness. Um, but And I feel like part of that is probably a traditional Christmas tree, which you saw them put up. But there's a new fad, Corey. We've got to get your in insight on this. <laughs> uh, the upside-down Christmas tree, you can buy it for a cool grand uh, at Target in this particular screenshot. I don't know if, I don't know if they're limited supply or what, but or that special. Um, the upside-down Christmas tree, Corey, America's burning to know what does Corey Lewandowski think of the implications of such a fad? You know, I don't even know what it means to have an upside-down Christmas tree. It's like an upside-down world. It's, it's like Seinfeld. It's like the bizarro world. Like you can be a U.S. senator after groping people on you know, a picture and no one has any accountability for it. That's what the upside-down Christmas tree means to me. I mean, it's, it's everything that is wrong. Look, we have traditions in our country that many people respect, that we should respect, that we've passed on to our children. Look, a Christmas tree is one of those traditions. And if you don't want to participate in Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever your holiday is, you don't have to. But I don't even know what an upside-down Christmas tree means. That is a hardline stance, I think. Very that, strong. That is true. <laughs> Corey, can we put you on true. record that you will uh, inform us immediately if you learn that the first family is turning their Christmas tree upside down? <laughs> 
I, I can be sure that the first family will not be turning their Christmas tree upside down. They love this country I and think, our traditions. I think the Russians might like upside down Christmas trees. I'm just saying. They I don't may. know. Maybe collusion. There's I'm not sure. There's folks out there relieved it's not being called an upside down holiday tree. That's so. true. That's true. <laughs> Time to investigate. Thank well, you, Corey. True, true. Have a great Black Friday. Well, thank really you very much. To target him by okay. your upside down Christmas tree. Appreciate it.